to RiseCast episode one. This is going to be a weekly podcast we're going to be doing here on the Rise Gaming YouTube channel, hosted by myself, Rise Hot Rod, and we got my man next to me, Rise Senpai. What's up, bro? How you doing, Hot Rod? You having a good day today? You feeling good, ready to go? I can't complain, man. I woke up feeling pretty good, you know. The grind don't stop. You always got to be doing something, you know what I mean? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I like to hear Everybody keep it. your grinds up, man. Keep your grind up. Speaking of grind. Before we get into anything first, let me go ahead and just say pretty much what the RiseCast is going to be. So essentially, this is going to be, like I said, a weekly episode-based podcast on Rise Gaming. And we're just going to be pretty much talking about all the news and recent events with Rise. We're going to be covering the meta, having guests come on to speak about placements, playstyle. Pretty much going to be your one-stop shop for anything Fortnite or Rise related. But it's going to be a good time, man. This has been in the works for a long time. I'm glad I was able to get Senpai on board to help out. Yeah, man. Finally, I mean, it took it took a couple of weeks to be able to finalize and get everything situated. But now that we're both ready and both situated to the point where we can get it, I think it's going to be a great opportunity to bring some great content to amazing people who deserve it and who are looking for that gaming content. Exactly, man. It's going to be great. I've been pretty excited about it. This has been something we've been talking with Lux back and forth with for a little while. So it's perfect. New season of Fortnite, new content on Rise. It's going to be amazing, man. Rise is going to take off. I feel so confident, man. Yeah, speaking of taking off, I mean, with the Rise RC coming up and everything that's going down with Rise at the moment, it seems like the perfect time to get active and get that grind on as you were talking about. The grind does not stop. And I mean, with this new Rise RC coming and with a couple new recruits coming into the team, it's going to be an amazing opportunity. What do you think about the RC and have you seen anybody around um, the atmosphere looking into it? I think it's pretty great, man. I'm, I'm really excited. I mean, bringing some new faces into the family is going to be sick. I mean... I haven't seen too much on the TL, but I've looked a little bit at the hashtag. I've, there's a couple players that I've seen so far that have some pretty nasty clips. I've got a good friend actually named Hubba Dubs who's going for it. I think he's pretty good. So hopefully we, we bring some cracked players into the squad. I know that we're looking for good placement. I know that we're looking for really positive. We're looking for grinders more than anything. We want people that are going to be dedicated. I'm, I'm excited. I know that it's going to be something good for the team. Almost definitely, man. I mean, with all of the great people that are going in, I see Connor is a great streamer that looks like he's going for it. I mean, we got Death Glavio from the NA West side. There's a whole slew of people just looking to be able to get in and get on a grind and be able to push it. But I know not everybody can get in. So it's just that opportunity that they have to take and grab it by the balls and just run with it and hope for the best. Of course, man. Of course. I've seen one kid that I know that I've noticed a lot popping up on my TL that plays with uh, Zeo and... Maybe Inks, I'm not sure. I know he plays with Zayo a lot, is Mister. I've seen some of his stuff. He's pretty good. But I haven't had the opportunity to check on everybody and check out the RC responses yet because, like, we were talking about being delayed and stuff. I just got an entire new PC, new setup. So this is pretty surreal. Oh, I bet that's I'm sweet. Yeah, that's there. sweet. I'm excited. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll be talking about it more as the weeks come on, and I'm sure we'll probably bring on some winners to the show to talk. So I know all the management guys are going to make the right choices. I'm excited. I really am. Yeah, as in myself. I can't I can't wait to be able to get a couple of guys on here to just be able to express how happy they are to be a part of the team and how happy they are to get picked up. It's going to be a really good opportunity for us to be able to get those good vibes and get that good energy out of those guys and make them feel really a part of the team and really feel a part of Rise like they should. Oh, hell yeah, man. And Rise is like like I've said before. I said we're, you know, everyone's like a family, man. We all support each other. The group chat's always popping with memes and everyone checking in. It's just a good time, man. It's just we're, we all want the common goal of, you know, succeeding and making this a big org. So I know anyone that comes on is going to be serious. So I'm just hoping we get the right person and it's good vibes, like you said, you know. Oh, yeah, most definitely. And I mean, with Luxury and Ryan both running it, I'm, I'm sure that they're going to make the right decisions, no doubt. Oh, yeah. So Shout it's out my just boy a matter Lux. of time. He looked hey, there you hell go. in that RC video. He was, yeah, looking, he, did. <laughs> he was looking fire. <laughs> that shirt was bomb. I don't know what, I don't know what y'all talking about. It was fire. But I mean go ahead and go into i mean we're going to be going into chapter two season one it's the first week of the new season it's crazy there's a whole lot to talk about so there's let's go ahead and dive into it and bugs. see what yeah, let's get right you into feel it. first week was so many bugs man let's get right into it there was the thing at slurpee swamps where you could get the free healing people are literally just camping there in game getting the free heals they had the uh i don't i think they fixed it in today's patch notes was i don't know i haven't been able to play yet but it was if you're on a one by one if you change weapons in the one by one you can't shoot in the box like yeah you're stuck you cannot in the shoot yeah. whatsoever yeah you can't shoot you can't even use heals if you're in the corner if you're not visible you're not able to do anything within that range of doing anything other than moving and that's a really bad glitch 
there's um there's a lot of stuff going on with the FPS drops that everybody's been complaining about. I'm sure everybody now, if you run on a PC, you know that the FPS is really, really bad at the moment. But they did mm-hmm. say they tried to fix it today. They really did try to get into the nitty gritty stuff with the slurp barrels over in Slurpy Swamps, trying not to let people get that free healing glitch so that they could just easily win games because there are a lot of tournaments, a land tournament coming up. So there's stuff that they do have to fix before it gets into that. Yeah, and even other than the Slurpy Swamps one, I didn't. I never looked into it to see what it was, but I know there's another glitch going around too where it's like you're invincible to storm damage or something. I've seen a couple clips of that. Like I know Cypher, when he was playing, had that happen to him the other day. And yeah, he was just running around in the zone and th- yeah. there was no damage being done. So yeah, there's a lot of different little things with this chapter. We all expected it though. It's Fortnite. They've never been perfect. We don't expect them to be perfect. But I mean, at the same time, it's been so long now that with these little glitches it's just it's just constantly trying to figure out okay what's next all right what are we what's the next new exploit and that's just one of those things that's a part of the Fortnite, um i would say community now yeah it's kind of annoying that it's just whoever can you know know the exploits better and have a better opportunity to take advantage of them oh my god I'm I'm sorry, y'all. I, <laughs> I have uh my roofers are redoing my roof tomorrow so they're like throwing the the shingles on the roof and it's a little loud so if you guys hear it in the background i do apologize but, as long uh, as they're not falling through the roof i think we'll be okay <laughs> <laughs> i hope not either that's, that's just going to be a problem for everyone but I, I don't know man i know fortnite has its history of not quote-unquote listening to its community and everything but i seem like to me i feel like this season was a w i feel like starting out season one chapter two so far, everything has been pretty good other than the FPS issues and the few little exploits. But, I mean, every season has their bugs and issues. So, hopefully, they can just get on top of it. But overall, Exactly, I've enjoyed, yes, no. I've enjoyed it so far thoroughly. And squads is a lot yeah. more fun than I thought it would be, to be honest with you. Yeah, no, I think it's beautiful. I love I love the loot pool. I love the opportunities that you have with your friends. The Playing with squads, I feel like in squads, it's just so much funner because you can... I mean, pretty much kidnap people if they go yeah, down. You can carry you can them now. <laughs> yeet people. It's so beautiful. It's such a great they way even to added the right click yeet. Like literally, it says in game yeet. I thought that was <laughs> yes. so funny when I saw that the first time. I genuinely didn't believe it. That's crazy. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. The fishing, everything, everything new and vibrant about the game. It's brought back a whole new love to a lot of people that have gotten tired of it. A lot of people that have even quit the game now are coming back and enjoying it even more than before because it feels like a whole new environment and feels like a whole new space to create a whole lot of new memories and a lot of fun for every person. It does, man. I I think a lot of people have even been saying it's like kind of the same energy of like Modern Warfare 2 back in the day. A lot of people had it. Like it's so simple to just hop on and play with your boys, but it has such like a high skill gap. It's just like it's a timeless, like, I don't know if timeless is the right word, but it's a very just notable, like, iconic kind of game for this generation. Like, Most definitely. Though, no, this game will never be forgotten, ever. Yeah, exactly. Even though Epic is, like, does a shitty job here and there, overall, I think they've done a, a great job at coming up with at least the basis of what Fortnite is. Like, the idea of a battle royale where you can build and everything that goes into it, you know, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's one of the most complex games. It's a game that makes you move your hands more than any game that's ever been created. I mean, your hands are all over the place, whether you play on controller like myself or you play on mouse and keyboard like you. I mean, oh, yeah. it's, it's constantly going. You're constantly trying to figure out new keybinds, trying to figure out the best way to be the best person that you can within the situation. And I mean, you're a, you're a competitive player yourself, so you understand what it's like to be a part of that competitive nature and be oh, into yeah. that scene, which is beautiful. And it's such a great game. The loot pool's better. I mean, everything right now is sitting in a really good spot for Fortnite. And as long as they don't do anything like add a mech that can fly, we'll be fine. Yeah, I kind of agree with that, man. Like, I, it's it's really strange. Like, I have a long competitive history. But this is this season, actually, I was able to get everything squared away with my job and my school schedule and everything. This will be the first season I'm actually going to be, like, competing in cups and stuff. So I, I'm very excited to start my first chapter of competing in Fortnite in Chapter 2. So I, I'm I'm very excited. You know, I've been grinding and trying to improve where I can, but I'm very excited to hopefully try and prove myself a little bit. It's going to be cool, man. I think it's going to open a whole new door for a lot of players this season or this chapter rather. It's, it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm a- most, oh, most definitely, man. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, there. no, you're good, bro. All I was going to say is that I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see how the first warm up cup plays out. Cause I don't know if Fortnite or Epic plans on streaming that one. Like they usually do the F and CS cups, but we'll see. 
It's going to be amazing, man. All of the Rise boys, I know they're ready. I know that the oh, yeah. team's shout ready. I know that every boys, person, dude. yeah, shout everyone, out to all of the Rise everyone boys. Everyone in the team is cracked, bro. We have such an all-star lineup, I'm telling you. It's crazy. It's amazing, yeah. Their placements that they've gotten, the accolades that they've achieved just through last chapter. And this Close. chapter opens up a whole new door for all the new recruits that are going to come in, for all the new, all of the guys that are already in and that have been a part of Rise before even myself. I mean, oh, it's yeah. going to be amazing, and it's going to be exciting to just see the movement and the opportunity and everything that's going to come out of this new chapter. It's crazy. I think it's going to be a lot of growth for everybody. But while we're on the topic of the Rise Boys, I don't know everybody off top, so I'm sorry if I leave some people out. I know that there are a handful of the Rise Boys still looking for squads, so if you guys are a man down and want to get a cracked, goaded, insane player, I know that right off top, I believe Barr and N. Shane are both looking for teammates, and... I don't I think Turbo might be. I don't remember off top. But I'm sure if you just do a quick search, you'll be able to find everything or just reach out to them. But there are definitely some Rise Boys still looking for teammates. So if you need a fourth or if you haven't already made Trio, just go ahead and hit them up. Bar and Shane, they're both cracked. Dude, Shane's probably one of the best grinders I've ever met. Positive fucking kid. So cool. Most definitely, yeah. And Shane is crazy. He's He's always got such a big heart, too, for the game. I mean, Barr is insane. I mean, Barr's last a chapter, man, he did so much. I mean, I remember watching clips of him in the FNCS. He got that snipe on Bard, Premium Bard, one of our guys as well. <laughs> I and remember I mean, that. They're I just remember that. neck and neck. They're crazy guys. I mean, if you're looking for another person, I would pick them up. I would go in and look at the Rise team. We're always trying to find our guys a good squad. I mean, you guys are all out there looking as well to try to find that third, maybe to even put a squad together. And these guys are all amazing players. All you got to do is take the time and they will be able to take the time with you and just be able to get on that grind and i think it's better to do it now rather than later into the fncs when you start looking and wanting it more you just got to do it ahead of time so you can get right on top yeah one thing that's kind of crazy that i noticed speaking of like squatting for fncs and qualifying and everything you're not going to be able to do trades this year did you read that yeah, I heard that. No I, I heard trades, that there wasn't going to be any trades, which is going to be, I mean, it makes it good because you have to find your squad early and you have to stick together through the whole thing. And there's no snaking. There's no bad vibes. There's no weird feelings like, oh, I might get traded halfway through the season. It's just a yeah. consistent, full set of F FNCS. And I think that's a beautiful thing. I think it's definitely going to affect the gameplay a little bit, especially when I know that even I haven't competed at a high level on Fortnite, but I've competed at a decently high level on PUBG and Team Fortress. But, you know, when you get to these higher level like tournaments and you get in these stressful situations, the stress can really build down the all the synergy you've made and all the chem you have. So you really got to try and stick together, be as positive you can, communicate. Like we say, good vibes and just grind it out, man. Y'all got to know each other just as much as you know the game. And I think Fortnite kind of realized that having trades in is going to kind of ruin a lot of people's chances at trying to make money. And trying to have a fair shot, so I feel like I I don't under, understand why they did it, uh, definitely. But I think it's a good choice for sure. Oh, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. And I mean, with all of that being said, I mean Fortnite's looking like they're going down the right path with esports, with content, with every little thing that they can. I mean, it's still one of the most watched and most popular games in the world. It's got a great, great vibe behind it. I mean, yes, they've made mistakes here and there, but I mean, with an update every single week. You, you can't expect little things to happen, but it's okay. I mean, the game's got a great base, a great foundation, and with all of these new teams rising up, I mean, without Fortnite, Rise would have never became the family that it is, and it's just one of those yeah. great things that's building a great community, even with the toxicity that there is here and there. I mean, I do believe that it's building a family of amazing gamers oh, yeah. and bringing gaming to a whole new level, I for agree. sure. Even though there's a whole bunch of egos and toxic people in the community, for the most part, the Fortnite community is pretty good. There's a lot of people that are super nice, super supportive. You know, it's it's kind of like any community. Like, you look at questionably one of the worst toxicity-based games like League of Legends. You know, there's still a bunch of guys that are super positive on there. You know, you got to take the good with the bad with any game. But I think Fortnite's doing a good job at keeping it balanced. I think they're doing a good job with keeping the game updated to keep people happy somewhat, even if it takes them a little while. I think they're still doing enough. And I think that's, like you said, it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep their game around for a long time, in my opinion. Exactly, yeah. I don't, And I mean, on a side note, with as much money as most of us have spent into this game, I don't think we're going anywhere anytime soon, even yeah, if we wanted actually. to. <laughs> yeah, the so I believe it's insane, a great, yeah. man. Like, th 3 million for the World Cup solo winner, Buga. Yeah. 
That's in, that's yep. insane. Literally became the number one earning esport player. Exactly. Yeah, day. and I mean, it's every insane. single person that was even there at the World Cup received fifty thousand dollars for qualifying, which is, I mean, beyond me. That's crazy. So it it creates a career and it creates a path for a lot of people. Um, just one thing that I do want to put out there to a lot of people is don't don't get away from your family. Don't neglect your responsibilities. Don't neglect people and your life and things like that or your health even i see people getting really like unhealthy and malnourished because they're focused so hard on this game so hard on making it a career you got to go out you got to see the sun you got to see your people and you got to be able to live a life as well as focus on the game because if you do confine yourself it's really a mental health thing that can cause a lot of problems for a lot of people and it it just needs to be focused more on mental health and happiness rather than I'm going to make money and I'm going to get in here because it's a lot of people. We've got millions of people that want to compete and want to be a part of the the community of Fortnite that's so small that I believe that you just got to be able to push through that and be able to get to your family and to your friends and to people that you care about so that you have that mental health and stability. Exactly, man. You got to take care of yourself. I mean, you know, thankfully for me, me saying, you know, this is my first season competing. I was able to find a work schedule that would work for me and school. So I finally have the opportunity now, but if you have to, you have to put competing and put certain things on the backboard to take care of your other stuff. You know, like there's always a balance. And as long as you're able to find it, you can do it the right way, but don't, don't put it above your mental health. You got to take care of yourself. Like you said, make sure your family's good. Make sure everything's okay. Everything you can do with balance. You know, that's all life is about is balance, man. I've seen so many kids on the timeline just saying like how they're, so tired of the game they're exhausted like my, my boy i'm not gonna i'm not gonna dox him or nothing but you know he was saying i'm just so tired of trying to play fortnite you know how stressing it is and he already has a couple of mental issues as it is he's like you know it's just so hard for me to try to get on and play every day knowing that it's so hard to make money and so hard to do these things but you have to practice so much and it's like it's got to take it in doses it's it's a great thing but you can't make it your entire life like balance is key man i say that about 100 percent. yeah 100 percent. you are definitely right yeah balance is key man 100 percent. i will say since we were just talking about fncs and everything i want to get into a quick shout out to one of our sponsors it's hit or miss gaming homg.net they're going to be the home for worldwide competition for any esport right now they're focusing on fortnite but i know they have plans to branch out so go ahead and check them out at HOMG underscore events on Twitter and at HOMG.net. They pretty pretty much run, like, what, a tournament a week now? They just did their box fights tournament with, I think, Dexterity, our boy, took home, repping the boys. Yes, sir. Rise yes, Dexterity. Sir. He took home that championship. They have a new another tournament. Today is Tuesday, a tournament tomorrow. I know it's going to be not part of this or not part of an opportunity for you guys to get into, but they are running tournaments every week. Prize pools up to $120. They've got 80% to the first place, 20% to the second place. And there's so many different opportunities to be able to get your name out there, even in the smallest of tr- communities and traction that you want to build for yourself. Rise Dexterity, a great player. He took home the bo- 2v2 box fight. And now th- the Team Villainous and HOMG are partnering to be able to create another box fight yeah. opportunity Shout out Team tomorrow. Villainous, man. Rise Ally right there. Shout out Team Villainous. Exactly. And it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful thing. I mean, they're they're constantly trying to put together new stuff, constantly trying to get a good competitive scene rolling and even more opportunities for you guys to be able to compete. Call of Duty's coming up. I'm sure they'll jump right on that. Course, There's Warfare a lot. Comes out in like a couple days, I think. Like, Yeah, four days, man. Four days. You can already preload it. I know one of my homies from my networking class is going home to preload that today. He was talking about it all day. Yeah, it's amazing. So yeah, check out HOMG. They're an amazing, amazing company, an amazing community builder. You got to go check them out. For sure. Check them out. HOMG underscore events, HOMG.net, man. But HOMG, to me, kind of gives me a vibe like game battles used to be. You know, like the whole Call of Duty scene, being able to put up a little bit of money and being able to try to win big. I mean, they ran tournaments pretty much consistently on there, like Money Eights and everything like that, too. Yeah. Hey, don't date yourself. I mean, I know that you were a champ at Hot Rod. <laughs> You were a champ at these games, and you, you put in a lot of work. And I mean, that's and that's the basis of all of us here. We're all gamers. We've all started this from the very beginning, and we all want the best for the community. And that's why this Rise R, this Rise cast is a thing, and that's why the Rise RC is happening. We just want to involve as many people as we can, and that's the whole goal of this podcast and the whole goal of what we're going to bring you guys 
every single week. We plan to do this every week. Mm -hmm. Every Tuesday, we're going to record. We'll bring it to you guys every Friday as best as possible. And we're just going to keep getting better. So let us know anything that you want us to change, anything you want us to talk about, anything that we can fix for you to bring back a better experience. Because that's all we want is to bring out the greatest for content sure. for you guys. Before we finish closing out, I just want to say I appreciate the sneak diss. Dating myself and I'm just messing with you. <laughs> you know I love you, man. I'm just fucking with you. But, uh, you know, it's just going to be kind of our weekly touch with the community. You know, we're, we've been growing a lot recently. We have the RC out. And it's just a way for us to be able to stay in contact with our team and let everybody know what's going on. And I think it's going to be great. This was like the first episode introductory just to give you an idea, like he said. So next week, definitely expect a guest. I'm sure we'll have someone on talking about their plans for the warm-up cup. It's going to be great, man. I'm very excited. First week, many more to come. I'm hype, bro. I'm hype. I'm hype. Oh, yeah, man. First week in the books. It's going to be great, bro. It's going to be an amazing, man. amazing opportunity. Of course, man. Make sure to follow all of us. On Twitter, YouTube, all of that. You can hit up Rise Gaming at RiseUpGG, Rise Gaming on YouTube. I am Rise Hot Rod at HXTROD on Twitter. And my boy Senpai, Rise Senpai, hit him up on Twitter at Senpai Saki. And I guess we'll see you guys next week, hopefully with a guest. But Have a good one. We'll have yeah. a guest, guys. Take have it easy. Guest, take it easy. <laughs>